Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Karina. We're doing something special today. Ooh, I love what? something special. It's we something special. That. And yes, something familiar. It's pets. Oh. Pets. It's pets. Uh, we were reached out to <laughs> by... A certain Jacob, not this Jacob, but a different Jacob. There's more than one Jacob in the world. Mm. What? What? Yeah. I'm Don't sorry like to that. have blown your mind with some facts. But we were we were contacted by Jacob from Paws, Oz, and Claws. Mm. Which is a nonprofit rescue organization that focuses on, on saving, rehabilitating, vetting, and finding new forever homes for animals in need in the metro Detroit area. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Uh, they're foster based. They rely on the support of the community. So they reached out because, you know, COVID, COVID's a hard time to try to run a rescue organization. And they're trying to, to get a little boost in that help, whether it be by donors or fosters. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So uh, we thought it might be fun to take some of the pets that they have at their shelter. And and turn them into D and D characters. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a few animals from their shelter, and uh, we've all picked one or two. Oh. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna turn them into D and D characters. Nathan, is it is it you first? It's me first. It's you first. Who'd you got? I found a, a lovely friend here. All of them have their names on the. The image files we were sent, and this one is Lumps and Bumps. Lumps and Bumps. bumps. Look at this. Look at this friend. (laughs) The ear hair. The ear ear hair. hair. So, like, immediately looking at this, I'm imagining sort of like an eccentric inventor type character. Absolutely. Which is one of my favorite types of characters to play in <laughs> in fantasy role playing because I don't know how to I don't know how to work a dang computer but imagine <laughs> imagine if I could just like tinker with some stuff and make like a useful potion or a arcane machine or something you Hell would be yeah. julia i'd be <laughs> i my fantasy yeah. character is julia <laughs> <laughs> yeah I like to imagine I have any of Julia's skills in real life. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, the nice thing about this prompt is like there is a D&D cat people race called the Tabaxi. So I'm imagining Lumps and Bumps as a Tabaxi artificer. Yeah, I love that. I'm going to just make the eyes even bigger. Going to give them some yeah. goggles. Yes. This is Professor Lumps and Bumps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that this cat knows, you know, when you're working, it doesn't matter how many years of experience you got, you still got to wear eye protection. Yeah. yeah. You don't know what could be going on in the machines. Something could happen. I, I mean, that's just cat. responsible behavior. <laughs> yeah. And you can tell looking at Lumps and Bumps, this is a responsible cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's got like half of a mustache and like a little bit of a beard, but like the other part like got got blown off yeah you know like some sort of experiment like a little poof of fire yeah came up and got it did you say a poop of fire a A poop of fire a little poof of fire one one poop of fire one poop of fire fire, please (laughs) (laughs) me at the wendy's (laughs) drive-thru that's what happens later if you know what i'm saying after you eat the wendy's you know what i'm saying (laughs) Does anyone what know what are I'm you saying? saying? When you get the spicy chicken, when you, you poop the, the fire. <laughs> Nathan knows what I'm saying. This is an episode to promote this animal shelter and to <laughs> uh, and to make enemies of Wendy's. <laughs> They've had it coming. If they didn't want to be my enemy, why did they make their name rhyme with enemy? It doesn't. <laughs> when, Wendy's when, en- Wendy's enemies. Wendy's. 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 M and D's. Wendy's. It's, 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 it's a slant rhyme. <laughs> Wendy's. <laughs> it's a slant rhyme. <laughs> I feel like Wendy's, for a while now, they've been getting a little too familiar on social media, and it's time we shut that down. Yeah. 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 
let's start beef with Wendy. We're the yeah. ones to do that for <laughs> sure. Yeah. You want to get too we familiar? Can stop them. <laughs> then we're going to start owning you in public. <laughs> What I want is more social media interactions with corporations. I want to yeah. be perceived by them. <laughs> Imagine if a bunch of brands just started interacting with the Draw Feature uh, <laughs> and starting oh, beef uh, with us. I think I would delete our Twitter. Uh, <laughs> Real talk, absolutely would delete it. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Yeah. yeah, they're waiting at all times. Like one time I <laughs> tweeted about Martin's potato rolls and Martin's <laughs> freaking Twitter got in my mentions like within 30 seconds of that tweet. I hate that for you. <laughs> and I was like, I was just trying to say a funny thing, but now Martin's potato rolls is, is aware of me. It sees me. <laughs> Don't see me. Yeah, I've never had a good Twitter interaction. <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> End sentence. That's it. <laughs> I don't know if a brand's ever tried to get on my Twitter, but e if they did, it, it would be pretty par for the course of horrible Twitter interactions, which I always have. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say I've only ever had bad Twitter Twitter interactions, but then also I, the Vanga Boys tweeted at me once. Yeah, that was a good Twitter interaction. Yeah. One of the only ones. It was one yeah. of the only good Twitter interactions. Yeah, we loved that one. Yeah. <laughs> Rode that high for weeks. Every so often <laughs> there's a good one. Yeah. You know what is good though? Pets. Yeah. Yes, pets. This one. Pets are good. So good. Nathan's good. Thank you. Karina. Yes. If you were to get a pet of any kind, what kind of pet would you get? I'm thinking of uh, maybe adopting a cat once I move out. Oh. Ooh. Maybe. It's going to be a while. It's not going to happen for a while anyway, but like, because uh, my roommates are allergic, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, but as as many people know, I find cats real cute. So I've been thinking about it. So when, once I'm out of here, maybe, maybe the opportunity presents itself finally. Yeah, I highly recommend. <laughs> They're such little gremlins. Yeah. They're just gremlins that live in your house. Even the best yeah. cats are little gremlins. And I say that affectionately. <laughs> but they bring you joy every day. Yeah. And Olive. And Olive every day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Nathan, same question. What? I'm drawing. If you were to get a pet of any kind. <laughs> Normally on this show, we talk and draw. <laughs> Nathan's, we, we task Nathan with drawing a D&D &D character, which means he's getting really into it. Yeah, I'm it. sorry. If I could have a pet of any kind, <laughs> yeah, a kind that uh, I can play with and someone else takes care of. Fair. Bad answer. Bad answer. <laughs> Bad answer. <laughs> Try <Smack>. again. <laughs> Boo. Boo this man. <laughs> Boo the man. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I like playing with like my friends' pets, but I don't. I don't want my own. That's I don't fair. Think. <laughs> As someone who's owned very few pets in my life, I feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's a lot of work when you don't have a pet and then you get a pet and it is kind of a lot yeah. of work, but you don't think about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, a lot of people have pets. How hard can it be? <laughs> yeah. People stupider than you have pets <laughs> and those pets are doing fine and are happy. Yeah. yeah. I'd venture to say most people are stupider than you. Yeah. I don't know about and that. And think of all the pets yeah, that that's they a have. big claim. <laughs> I think if you took like the whole world's population, we'd probably be above 50%, right? Like 52%. No. I don't know. <laughs> I think we're in the smarter half. I'll say it. Okay. Prove me wrong. Well, <laughs> no. I'll, I'll take the compliments <laughs> where I can get it, Jacob. <laughs> I'm not saying how far up we are, but we're up. We're above 50%. Oh, I love how the texture. How hard can it be? How hard can yeah. it be? The texture of that smoke coming up from the cat is so good. Oh. Yeah, that's really nice. It's got like a Mulan quality. Yeah, he, he's a. this is oh. an alchemist artificer, what wow. made a little... Little push that uh, that did a, a bit of a blow up in his face. <laughs> Do you make a push, buddy? He made Look a little push. He made a little push. Yeah, like a, sort of like an apron with uh, sleeves rolled up. 
Yeah, I feel like this episode also is just a general shout out to to getting pets from a from a shelter. Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 I have only had pets from shelters. I've had a few dogs. I had a rabbit. Aww. And I highly recommend getting a, a rescue. Yeah. A rescue pet. Actually, my second dog we found in a shed. So <laughs> nice. not from a rescue. But, you but did was rescue. rescue. Yeah. Yeah. That counts. So that counts. I recommend everyone get their pets from sheds. Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. can get a shed but pet. But if you can't yeah. get a shed pet, get it rescue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but really, really check your sheds. You know, you might you might be surprised what you find. Yeah. My best friend lives in Florida and she went to the store with her husband and uh, they saw some live chickens, so they decided to buy those live chickens. And now they have some chickens as pets. It was Aww. a spontaneous pet purchase. And she absolutely loves them. I had an, a neighbor who had live chickens and they would wake me up every day. A neighbor? Like in New York? In New York. My downstairs oh. neighbor in my old apartment had chickens in their backyard. Wow. Well, I, guess, I guess you just need a backyard. They can come inside. They can hang out. Yeah, what are they going to do, lay eggs? <laughs> yeah, it's or... like, if you're going to have chickens that are going to wake me up, at least offer me some eggs once in a while, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's the payment if you live in a city life with chickens. It's the wake-up fee, one yeah. egg. <laughs> one egg Leave it at morning. my doorstep. <laughs> Nathan, this piece is so good. Yeah. The pose, the expression. I don't know if this wrench makes sense. It's bent. It's a bent wrench. Yeah, it's a bent wrench. I'll fix it in post. Bench. Fix it in post. It's a bent wrench. It's a really skinny wrench. It's sort yeah. of a it's sort of a skinny long wrench. And if you have problems with that, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Who asked you? <laughs> this does have better proportions than anything in cats. That's true. Yeah, I like this cat when I see yeah, it. Yeah, I like that yeah. this cat is a friend that I want to see. Hey dance. everyone, we're talking about cats again. Yeah. No, we're not. We're done. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> All right, this is um, this is Lumps and Bumps, Professor. Wow. I love Professor Lumps and Bumps. This is Professor Lumps and Bumps, <laughs> alchemist, artificer, D and D friend. <laughs> He's got such a personality. What a guy! What a guy! What a guy! Poor girl. I don't right. actually yeah, know not Lumps actually and Bumps' sure, gender, but it. Yes. <laughs> but there you go. There you go. All right, so. For my pick, it's me. I chose two. I was the oh. one that we were hinting to in the intro. Oh, what a twist. Yeah, that, that was a spoiler. <laughs> it's called foreshadowing. It's a narrative device. This is Hubert and Eleanor. Oh. Not a single eye them. between the two of them. Yes, two cats, no eye. But they're they so, so cute. Soft. They do look really soft. I see that um, we've gone from Nathan who knows things to Karina who doesn't. So I'm here. I'm here to be ignorant about D and D again. These cats, they're probably taking the blind fight feet. Feet. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> feet. It's when you you foot wrestle blindfolded. Yeah, the blind fight feet. Yeah, like yeah. in a dark room. <laughs> Anytime you take a feat in D and D, it's you have to use your feet to to do the feat. Yeah, that's what it means. That's what it means. That's just D and D facts. I'm sure these cats are very kind, but I just feel like they're like assassiny. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah, those blind assassins. Like Daredevil. Like some secret order assassins. Like the Margaret Atwood book, The Blind Assassin. Uh-huh. Thank you, everyone, for listening. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Our cat just yelled at me. What'd she say? I don't know, man. She's she's upset with me. Now we, she's we on the desk. can't repeat it on the program. Yeah, one of the producers Damn. is, is uh, on set right now. Well, she's seeing all these other cats we're drawing and talking about, and it's like, why not? Why are you not talking about me? That's one thing I know about cats. They're greedy. Yeah. <laughs> They're driven by greed. <laughs> <laughs> they want it all. 
my BFF Lauren, uh, she has a cat and her boyfriend has a cat and they live together. So their cats are brothers. Oh. So her cat just got some teeth removed and the other cat just keeps swiping his food. Wow. (laughs) He's greedy. He just keeps eating all the food. And Lauren's like, I spent 10 minutes soaking that in warm water for your brother. (laughs) (laughs) And you just ate it. (laughs) Greedy. Yeah, we've had that problem in both directions with our cats. There was a time where Joy ate all the food. Then there was a time when Olive ate all the food. (laughs) And now they've they finally like figured out the proper amount of food to eat. We've reached reached equilibrium. equilibrium. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) By getting a food that they don't really like. The way that you said that at the exact same time. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's the key. Don't get food they're too excited about. Yeah. (laughs) Some real neutral food that they're just like, we'll eat it when we're hungry. Yeah, they're real (laughs) indifferent to it. Because if the food's too good, Joy will eat 100% of it. And she will eat it too fast and throw up. And then throw up. And then it's like, well, we wasted all our time then. I love that about her. (laughs) It's always throwing up. She does what she wants. (laughs) Throwing up from greed. (laughs) That's her. It's messed up. As cats seem to do. (laughs) It's pretty messed up. I think assassins have hoods. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, they gotta hide their face. Yeah. And also sometimes it rains and they don't want to get wet. Yeah. And it just it just looks cool. This is like one of those things where you pull it up over your mouth, except it's not yeah. pulled up because I'm not going to erase that mouth. I no. think it came out nice. No, you drew a yeah. good mouth. <laughs> yeah, you leave the mouth. No doubt. So this one's Eleanor. I'm not actually sure which one's which in this photo, but I'm going to make a real general assumption that. Well, if they're ordered from left to right, yeah, if they're named from left to right, then Eleanor is this one. Yeah, I think that would be the correct way to name them. And if it was done otherwise, that is a mistake on their part and not yeah. ours. Yes, you're correct. And we will take no heat for this decision. <laughs> <laughs> Much like Wendy's come at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wendy's come at you. More like Wendy's come out of you at the bathroom later. After hey. that sandwich. Oh, when you poop shit. it. <laughs> When you do poops. <laughs> Got him. She's going to make this animal shelter regret <laughs> asking us to promote them. No, this is great. <laughs> I want to indicate as well that they said in their initial email that they were big fans of Drawfee. Yes. So they know. Yeah. They knew what they were getting into. Yeah. They knew the mess that this would be. <laughs> yeah. They knew that we were going to start beef with Wendy's. Yeah. yeah. We always do. <laughs> We've been alluding to it in the past few episodes. This is yeah. the only kind of drama we're ever going to get into. Yeah. God, I hope. <laughs> Starting fights with Wendy's. We could start a second channel called Drama. But it's draw. Draw. Where we just fight Wendy's. What is that a combination of words of? What is that? Um, draw and um, llama. And llama. llama. I see. But there aren't any llamas on here. We only draw llamas on that channel. Yeah. That's what that, and we start beef with And we start beef with Wendy's. (laughs) We draw llamas while we start beef with Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah. More like stop beef because I don't want to eat their burgers. (laughs) Where's the beef? Not in my vicinity. Get that away from me. Unless you're talking about the fight we're in, in which case we're in it. We're inside the beef. It's the only good beef that Wendy's will have. (laughs) Uh, This is a good bit. (laughs) Yeah. I'm not going to make my eraser bigger because I hate myself. (laughs) I'm not going to do this hand correctly. I'll fix it later. Yeah, that's a post problem. She's doing, she's doing, she put her hood down. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, she did. She's like, remember my face. I won't remember yours. She can hear their face. Yeah. yeah. Moving. Like Daredevil. But she's not going to remember it because she's got a terrible <laughs> memory. <laughs> Man, just adding like a several earrings to a character is the shortcut to making them cool. Yeah. yeah. It's just easy mode. 
(laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and that's why we do it. (laughs) Slap a few hoops on there and call it a day. It's got got that street wear kind (laughs) of assassin vibe. Yeah. That's what cats do, I think. (laughs) Cats are notoriously murderers. Yes. Yes. And greedy. Yeah. So I think <laughs> greedy murderers. And they make great pets. Yeah. They make great pets. They're wonderful pest control. Adopt a greedy murderer. Into- <laughs> <laughs> Let them in. <laughs> if you're cold, they're cold. All right. Now, now for the other one. This one is, what's the name? It's Eleanor and... Hubert. 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 They sound like fancy assassins. Yeah. yeah. Royal assassin. That's why yeah. she has so many earrings, man. She has like a bracelet too. It's like a yeah. team rocket. Yeah. Eleanor Hubert. <laughs> we do have team rocket vibes with the crop top cape I've, I've yeah. concocted. Hell yeah. Absolutely. I think we've discovered the direction. <laughs> One cat in and we figured it out. Yeah. And by we I mean me. <laughs> Cause I was just I was just free balling it up until now. I'm impressed that you resisted the temptation to just copy paste the cat no, you drew. Every and cat change, is unique and special. Change just like a few of the deets. Give it different earrings. But no, we're doing full two design. This is bonus. Bonus material. Yeah, you're going to sit here and watch me draw two cats because <laughs> that's the decision that was made today, apparently. And every time you bring it up, another cat gets added <laughs> to the drawing. So you better not bring it up because I'm tired today. <laughs> he draws infinite cats. <laughs> That'll we'll be our it. like subathon. <laughs> it's just we have to keep drawing cats. Oh, God. If we ever do a subathon, it cannot be drawing dependent. We made that mistake. <laughs> yep. A long time ago. Yep. What what it was like for a number of YouTube subs. Yeah, it was a hundred thousand YouTube subs, so we did a, we did a hundred drawings yeah, on a stream. That sucked. And yeah. And a hundred is way more than you think that? it is. Yeah. It's no, a I... lot of drawings. I have an idea of what 100 is, and I think it's silly that you chose to do that. I could have told you that. Well, you weren't there yet. Yeah, this was like <sighs> six years ago. Oh, my God. I was like still in college. <laughs> you weren't even born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't draw 100 drawings. That's the lesson I learned. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. In your life, once you reach 100, like you better stop. Yeah, you can stop. <laughs> no you've one gotten, wants to stop. You've gotten as good as you're going to get. It's time to stop. I've definitely already drawn 100 drawings. I shouldn't even be here. You can retire after 100. Yeah. These are your final two. <laughs> Make it count. <laughs> <laughs> two blind cats versus three blind mice. That would be a good one to end on. Who wins? <laughs> Probably the cats. Yes, yeah, definitely. Probably. The cats. Unless bigger. it's unless it's like Tom and Jerry rules, but this is D and D, so it's just whoever rolls better. Yeah. <laughs> whoever gets higher initiative, usually they get to take more turns, so they're just their damage output's going to be higher. They're probably going to win. Oh, Nathan, I see you're doing the thing where you're casually talking, like any of us understand that. <laughs> I've always had speedy characters, and I've done zero damage on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> They've all been speedy but useless. (laughs) Whenever Julia plays, she refuses to make her characters combat viable in any sense. (laughs) Yeah. And it's a pretty combat heavy game. Oh, man. I remember the last time we played, Caldwell like made a special mechanic where he was like, okay, your character's really good at sleight of hand. You can use your sleight of hand skill as, uh, as your attack role if you want as just like a free thing for your character. And Julia yeah. still chose not to. Julia was like, <laughs> no, I won't do that. <laughs> yeah, I had, a, I had an extra turn to do damage every turn and I just didn't yeah. do it. Julia role plays. She was like, my yeah. character wouldn't care about that. Yeah. <laughs> Julia's the best D&D player of all of us. Yeah. In that I don't I don't care about combat. <laughs> I don't play. You care about the character. 
You I make care about my the most character. well realized characters. It makes the game way more interesting, which makes me think that Karina would be really good at D and D too, because Karina comes up with really good characters. But I'm like bad at doing characters on the spot. I have to like design a character on the spot and then like think about it for two days. And then I become deeply emotionally invested in that character. <laughs> well, that's sort of how character creation works. You do like a session zero to make your character, and then you come back later and play. You really have time to but think about hard. it. I'd love to play D&D <laughs> with you sometime, Karina. I'll have to try. I told my roommate that if he does one that's my Neopets, then I'll consider it. <laughs> oh. oh, we all get to be different ones of your Neopets? <laughs> yeah. I would do that. I want to be the cool, edgy one with the Scoot? hood. Yeah, Scoot, Scoot? McCool. <laughs> Scoot McCool. <laughs> Any excuse to just show images of your Neopets in the episode, <laughs> you know? Yeah, let's name them all so we can show them. I know we've got Derek <laughs> Kale. Yeah, you name my Neopets. <laughs> yeah, there's Derek Kale. There's Destiel yeah. Confession. Destiel, Destiel Confession. Confession. Scoot McCool. Scoot McCool. Owie Zizen. Bwalthazar. Yeah. <laughs> Bwalthazar. <laughs> wow. Is that it? One more. Who's left? It's the rabbit. Oh, yeah. The Uchiara. rabbit. I don't know. That, that's her name, Uchiara. <laughs> oh, then I, def I definitely didn't know that. <laughs> She's small. <laughs> She's small and a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, too small to care about. <laughs> no, I love her. They're all good. <laughs> <laughs> My favorites are Bwalthazar and Scoot. <laughs> <laughs> you flatter me. <laughs> I just like watching their their adventures appear on my Twitter timeline. Yeah, <laughs> good because that's like all I've been up to. <laughs> I think it's the best way for me personally to enjoy a comic. It just appears <laughs> randomly, and yeah. I I need no other context. <laughs> <laughs> a surprise comic is so much fun, particularly a surprise comic that's a break from discourse. <laughs> Yeah. We don't look at discourse here. We look at my Neopets. <laughs> yeah. Let's have discourse about them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put these away. This is oh this, is this, this is, is so rad. Yeah, yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> You're Karina, kill you're always you. like, I'm <laughs> ignorant of D and D, and then you go ahead and design like some of the raddest looking D and D characters <laughs> I've ever seen. I mean, I couldn't tell you anything about their stats or classifications. I know how to design a character, I'm told. <laughs> probably a uh, couple of rogues, high dex yeah. scores, <laughs> the blind fight feat, as I mentioned before. <laughs> Yeah, they're really good at that. <laughs> I like this. I like how this came out. <laughs> yeah, it turned out great. Yeah, this is rad. <laughs> they have little bells, but it wouldn't make sense for them to have bells. Um, so this is like their little logo, their little team logo. Oh, Hell yeah, their team rocket logo. I love yeah. that. But in, in universe, they like don't have bells because then people would hear them coming. They ring a bell after they do an assassination. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and that's, that's how you their, know. That's their sign off, their little Jeff the Killer. Yeah. Go to sleep. Yeah. They ring a bell. Okay, here's Hubert and Eleanor. They're amazing. amazing. I love them. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry it took so long. <laughs> this is going to be a long one, and that's fine. Yeah. For pets. Jacob and I will be I'll speeding. be fast. Yeah. It just means we have more time to talk about how good pets are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going next. Yeah. Yes. Frankly, I don't want to draw because you two did really good. Yeah, I'm intimidated. Well, you have to. But I have to contractually. Yeah. So here's <gasps> mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a friend. This is BB, a.k.a. Peanut. <laughs> so we got two names on this one, and the face really just... It really got me in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking that BB, a.k.a. Peanut, is sort of like a level one novice adventurer, like bright-eyed, first day in the guild. Yeah. Eager to prove themselves. Who's this other dog behind? <laughs> That's the guild That's... master. <laughs> That's the guild master that the dog is just 
BB slash Peanut has pushed their way past yeah. to be like, I want to join the guild. <laughs> That's like their mentor. The, the sign up sheet is, <laughs> is back here. <laughs> oh. I want to adventure. <laughs> I'm going to do a great job. I'm going to be the greatest adventurer there's ever been. Uh, I want to get like a pose going here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> really got to snub, snub the nose. Yeah. We must snub the nose. Like they're holding like a sword that's too big yeah. for them. This is a high charisma character that like <laughs> tried to be a fighter, but all of their strength comes from the fact that they're so adorable that more powerful characters want to help them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they bring people together. They barter yeah. for the team as well whenever they oh, have to yeah. sell any equipment. <laughs> It's like they're gonna be like, nope, I've got it. Get some sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle this. Maybe try a, a weapon with the light property. No, no, two-handed heavy. <laughs> this, this is the this is the weapon my dad always used, and I'm gonna use it too. Aww, it's our protagonist. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna be freaking cute as heck, and everyone's gonna love them. I love this. I love this idea. We're making an adventuring party, right? Yeah. Like this yeah. is. So we've got the two assassins, the uh, yeah, the alchemist, two characters, and <laughs> and this guy and Peanut. And then Julia's gonna round it out. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I have to look up what my what my guy's name is because I forgot. <laughs> Definitely gotta get some like chips out of it. This is an old, old from father. Yeah, an old blade. Father's blade. Father's old blade. <laughs> <laughs> I wielder of the old blade. <laughs> it's my dad. It's, it's my, my dad's. dad's. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> you imagine Flavor text. Yeah, in in Dark Souls, you get a new weapon called the old blade, and it just says, "It's my dad's." <laughs> it's, my, it's my dad's. <laughs> it's not a new blade. So shaky. Aww. Oh, buddy. He's going to be like slight, <laughs> lifted slightly. Oh, he got, wow. He's really doing it. Yeah, he's he's really trying. He is lifting from the back, though, which is not. It's. Uh, I mean, he's. That's going to hurt. He's young, but you still, it's a bad habit to get into. This is a great pose, Jacob. Oh. <laughs> Pigeons, pigeon toed stance. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the little mouth is so good. I got to try to like get it kind of similar. It's important. Oh, <laughs> I'm just so charmed. Yeah, this is a charming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm imagining this is like, this is a bard, but the the flavor for the way they cast spells is it's all... <laughs> them trying to do attacks and missing, but then it like has the spells <laughs> effect. Yeah, exactly. They're trying really hard. I cast charm person by attempting to pick up my sword, <laughs> make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, gotta get the big yeah, the big eyes, the big watery eyes. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. Jacob, you did it. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> Peanut. Peanut, my <laughs> precious boy. Peanut's going to be adopted so fast. Look at that face. Look at oh, yeah. them little teeth. At the very least, like when they see this app. Yeah. If you're in the like, Detroit want, area. Yeah, I yeah, want the protagonist. <laughs> yeah. Or just like. Peanut is protag. Take a road trip to the Detroit area just to get Peanut. Yeah, pick mm. up Peanut. Get some sweat here. <laughs> <laughs> Precious. I just want to oh, hug yeah. Peanut. Yeah, whatever whatever charms he has, they work on me. Yeah. yeah. Every He's got time. me. He's got me. He has, how do you say, advantage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Am I doing it? You did yeah. it, Karina. Am I speaking d and You did a d and d <laughs> Yay. Yay! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so proud. <laughs> How do you say advantage? <laughs>
Oh, this is a sweet oh, little Oh, he doesn't outfit. even have any armor. He's just wearing his Aww. clothes. Yeah. <laughs> He's he doesn't like have the money fresh yet. Fresh out the starting village. Uh, I just want to get some, some little details. Maybe like a belt. Yeah. To hold up his pants. Yeah, because yeah, they're... They're a little too big for him. <laughs> There's yeah, dads. There's dads. The old yeah, pants. <laughs> Bunch him up a little bit. Pants of the father. Aww. This is perfect. Jacob, you've made a perfect protagonist. You've nailed it. It also looks like the pants are sagging a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course they are. He'll grow into them. It's just yeah. It's a little too short. Oh. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy's out, buddy. What are you gonna do? Aww. This character gets killed off session one, and the entire no. rest of the adventure is spent trying to like resurrect him. Yeah, <laughs> and then he comes back like nothing ever happened. Yeah, <laughs> what I miss? <laughs> I'm here now. I'm looking at some of the animals that are in this. Uh, selection of pictures that were sent to us and I'm just noticing this cat named Meatloaf <laughs> and this other cat named Poofster. Oh, There's so many good ones. There's so many good ones. <laughs> we, you know, I think we picked pretty good ones, but for every good one we picked, there's also a good one we didn't pick. Yeah. That's the truth. It was a very difficult decision. Uh, I'm done. This is, this is Peanut, the new adventurer. Yeah. To the guild. <laughs> And he must be protected at all costs. Absolutely. I love him. <laughs> so cute. Uh, Julia, are you ready to finish this out? Me. Okay, so my dog that I've picked is a little doggy named Valentine. Oh, oh, another precious friend. You charmer, Valentine, with your little sweater. Oh, Look at his little wow. sweater. He's so chilly. I love pities. I think this is a like a pity mix oh and I gosh. love and that ain't are a so pity cute. I just want to pet it I know <laughs> did you all hear my joke I did no one asked you Jacob <laughs> I said that ain't a pity if you ask me because it's like there's multiple meanings can you explain the joke it could mean pit bull <laughs> or like a pity like when pit someone bull, has like pity the musician? on you yeah, yeah it could also be pit bull the musician but that wasn't part of this, this joke why are we talking about the musician Remember that time I drew I drew wide pit bull. Remember that? <laughs> I do remember that. And that also wasn't a pity. But at the same like time it was bull? a pity. Yeah, it wasn't a pit bull. <laughs> that was a person. <laughs> what, what is happening? Why does everyone hate me? <laughs> <laughs> I bring so much to the you table. You know what I don't hate? This dog. Hey. hey. Yeah. <laughs> Be pretty messed up if you did. You don't even know him. Yeah, you might hate this dog if you met him. <laughs> That's true. Good point. You probably won't. No. <laughs> that would be impossible. Dress like this? No. You couldn't. You couldn't. He's got the drip. <laughs> Doggy drip. So what are you thinking, Julia? Do you have any <sighs> thoughts going in? So I really like this kind of step that this dog is is taken, and I kind of <laughs> like that the the dog that you drew I think is also a pity mix. So I think this is going to be like the the older, more wizened party member that's like <laughs> maybe a paladin oh. who is uh, trying to protect your guy. Sort of a mentor figure. Yeah, like a mentor. Yeah. <laughs> well, he certainly is a pal. Tell you that much. Yeah. Yeah. And that ain't a pity. <laughs> and that ain't a pity. Can you explain the joke? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we all chose violence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Against we <Wendy's>. always do. <laughs> Against Wendy's. <laughs> but if one person in D the Detroit area adopts an animal from this shelter, we we are a success. Yeah. Then it was yes. all worth it. It was all worth it. <laughs> yeah. This hour plus of content. Every jab at Wendy's. <laughs> Nathan, you can't say it's an hour plus. We don't know what the edit's going to come down to. Yeah, you're going to make us look foolish if it's not an hour plus. It's going to be an hour plus. What if we cut a lot? 
Yeah. You don't know. You don't know if we're going to cut all of the stuff about how we're going to fight Wendy's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if we cut, might not make it to the final. If we cut all the Wendy stuff, it's five minutes. <laughs> The drawings will be so fast yeah, we won't be able to see it. It's a speed dry episode, actually. We have to re-record the audio. We just speed up the video and ADR in <laughs> our commentary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a look. Wow. Yeah. I was going to say that that's the perfect type of character to round out our adventuring party. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. We've got the protagonist. He's just plucky. And then we've got the eccentric inventor who explodes. <laughs> Comic and then relief. We've got these two hot cats. Yeah. That, they're very hench mini. Pinch yeah. Mini. They're like Team Rocket. Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe they start off as yeah. enemies and then they, they become friends. They start off as <laughs> as episode one or movie one Vanessa Hudgens and they wind up as movie three Vanessa Hudgens. <laughs> Which one? What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> can you explain? What movie? Can you explain? That, that Christmas movie she's in, where she's the, where she becomes all three characters or whatever. There's the princess not three switch. Movies. There's only two movies. <laughs> where she, she becomes become different. <laughs> they started off as movie number one, and then they wound up as movie number two. But the evil in, one as, is movie number as a, two. As their role in the party. <laughs> They're movies. <laughs> <laughs> they're both Vanessa Hudgens. That's it. Yes, they're both voiced by Vanessa Hudgens. That's true. Oh, I was man. just going to say that I hesitated because I was going to say that they're shit posters, but I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens is in a shit poster. <laughs> I'd love to play D and D with Vanessa now Hudgens. We're talking about Pitbull. <laughs> you guys are poisoning my brain. <laughs> This is brain poison. You're what? <laughs> you make me feel like I'm going insane. <laughs> oh, big armor. Ooh. Yeah, I imagine he's like the the big shield boy. Yeah. yeah. So he's going to have like a tower shield. Oh, and that's good because then you don't have to draw as much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for once, I drew the shield first. You drew first. the shield first, Julia. <laughs> yeah. I'm learning. It's called growth. I'm so proud of you. I didn't draw the whole outfit first and then cover it up with a big blank square. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you'll put like an intricate design on the shield and post. And I don't know what like... you're talking about. The sigil is just the this plaid pattern. That it's got on its sweater. Oh, oh yeah, a plaid shield. Plaid shield. Plaid shield. Pleeled. Pleeled. No one's done it. They're afraid. <laughs> <laughs> They're afraid of pleeled. Pleeled is my next D and D character. <laughs> <laughs> this is pleeled. He's a uh, assassin. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. If you adopt this dog because of this episode, please rename this dog pleeled. Don't don't do that. <laughs> Pleeled is a horrible sounding word. <laughs> it hurts to say. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, you're being such a party pooper this episode. Every time we, we start a bit, <laughs> you go, You are poisoning my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you like I'm, my bits, Jacob? I'm being gaslit right now. <laughs> Karina is gaslighting me live on camera. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> I'm glad we agree. Listen, this is it's all for the animals at the end of the day. Yeah. G gaslight Jacob for the animals. I'll gaslight Jacob yeah. so much for the animals. Yeah. Gaslight Jacob for the animals challenge. It needs Hashtag. to be done. <laughs> It's important. <laughs> Cause Jacob pain for the animals. Don't actually do that. Don't do that. That's no. my job. Yeah. That's Karina's job. And bit, and if, no one else if, do that. Yeah, if you, if you steal my thunder, I'll be upset. This is a bit amongst friends. If you take the proportions of this dog and the proportions of the dog I drew and put them next to each other, it's <laughs> insane. <laughs> I guess my dog's proportions don't fit any of the other characters. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I think for once we've all kind of matched, except for Jake. Yeah, Maybe he, your dog's so just really tiny. small. He's just a little yeah. toddler. Yeah, <laughs> he's just a little baby. Yeah, who he's invited very this young. toddler on the adventure? He's too <laughs> small. <laughs> He's got to learn this fast because his village sense. was you burned be down. Watching SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have SpongeBob in D and D universe. D and D universe sucks. Why everyone's always out on adventures? They don't have yeah. any SpongeBob. If there to watch. was SpongeBob. Mm. That that's a, a fun hook for for an adventure. Is that there's an evil <laughs> wizard that's invented a a magical vision that causes everyone to not want to go on adventures anymore because it's so entertaining. And the, and vision is the vision is SpongeBob. <laughs> Are you ready, adventurers? <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. That's like a grizzled old adventurer. Yeah. yeah. Watching. <laughs> I can't believe I was out hunting gold when I could have just been enjoying this delightful sponge. <laughs> Wait. He says he has treasure down there. Mm. I'm going down. I'm going down. They all start jumping in the ocean. <laughs> it's like back when they did like the original War of the Worlds radio broadcast show and everyone thought it was real. They were like, oh my God, aliens are really invading. <laughs> it's happening. It's really happening. It's not fiction. And that was the first time people realized that the radio could lie to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Queen named their song Radio Gaga because everyone went Gaga. Yeah. About the War of the Worlds. Yeah. It yeah. lied to them. Yeah. The history books say. And everyone just went, what? Yeah, they went Gaga. <laughs> yeah, they went Gaga. <laughs> they turned to the sky and said, Gaga. Gaga. <laughs> Gaga. Gaga, <laughs> I'm a baby. I don't know it, how the radio works. <laughs> If I pretend to be a baby, the aliens will take me as their own. <laughs> and raise me. <laughs> and raise me. I mean, Mars needs moms, so. That's a good point. <laughs> you raise a good point, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Paladin dog, paladin wow, wow, dog. Wow, wow. wow. It's a paladin dog. I would trust this dog with my life. Yeah. Bone. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he'll never let go of the shield. Yeah. Because it's his bone. And he'll never yeah. lose it because he'll just bury it if yeah. he's not going to use it. I had a, I have my parents' dog, Scout. He was the first dog we ever had that like buried things. The first time we Aww. gave him a bone, he was so excited about it that he cried while Aww. holding it. And he just shook. He shook and he cried and he whimpered and he just stood there for a really long time. And we thought like maybe it was hurting him, like he was allergic to it. But then we looked it up and it just turns out that he was like so excited about the bone that he didn't know where to put it. Aw, baby. He was so freaked out that he might someday not have that bone. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, then he started hiding the bones that we give him in the couch. <laughs> he would like bury it in the cushion and every Aww, time the bone couch every time you'd find it he would you would see his little head come around the corner just like I failed <laughs> you found me out dang <laughs> they checked the couch again <laughs> this place where people are always sitting somehow they know I surely You've thought this it. time they wouldn't <laughs> Then he comes over and he very gently takes it from you and hides it somewhere else. Aww. And it's usually the basement. Aww. He's he's a cute idiot. Maybe. What should his like crest be? Plaid. 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 Pleeled. 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 <laughs> Pleeled. Pleeled. <laughs> <laughs> so waffle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's plaid. If you put plaid on a shield, you get a waffle. That's how they invented waffles. <laughs> you can make it plaid and post. <laughs> yeah. It'll be plaid and post. Well, it's plaid now. Plost. Plost. Plaid and plost. Um, this, is, this is Valentine. Valentine. Wow. Valentine so the paladin. Good. The I grizzled love it. paladin. The paladin. The paladin. Um, so thank you to 
paws, oz, and claws. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> for uh, for reaching out and sending us your your good picks and I their very understanding them. email, it was it was very nice and I appreciate all the work that they do. Rescuing animals is super hard and super necessary. If you are looking for a pet, I really 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 recommend adopting one from a shelter. They really need the help, and uh, adopting one of their pets is the biggest help you can give them. Uh, but also, if you can't do that, donate, volunteer, foster, do all those cool things. Um, man, I just love pets. I just yeah. love I just love pets, and there's so many good rescue animals out there that are misunderstood and have a weird stigma against them for not being from breeders or something. So go support those pets. Support those pets. Links in the description. Yeah. yeah. You can also support us if you like. We're kind of like pets. Yeah. We're kind of like pets for uh, the internet. If you support me, you support my neo pets. There you go. There you go. There you if go. you support Jacob and I, you support our pets. There you go. <laughs> and uh, and I'm Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Patreon, we got a store, all those links in the description as well. Uh leave a comment of what you want to see us draw next time. We're Plari. We're Plari. We're Pitbull. <laughs> Plari! <laughs> and that ain't no pity. <laughs> what do you mean? Stop.